Here's a simple definition of current then. It is simply the steady flow of charge. So let's look at the definition, mathematical definition of current. I'll draw a wire, a conducting wire, in this case going all the way across the board. Like that. Okay. So this is conducting wire. So current, the symbol we use is I. And mathematically, the way you think about current is it's the charge per unit time across a plane. So if I look at a cross section of the wire, like this, like that, that was dumb, okay. Cross section of the wire, and then I'll think about all the little charge carriers. So here I'll have a bunch of little positive charges. And if they are flying along at some velocity due to the electric field that's being applied, so there they go. Is simply the number of charges per unit time that flow across a cross section of the wire. Okay? The area vector is not involved here in the simple definition of current. It's just letting you know that the way you keep up with the charges is you don't look at a point and say how many go through that point or past that point. You look at the cross-sectional area of the entire wire or the entire conduit for the current. Okay? When you're keeping up with that, there's kind of two kinds of current, sort of. There's the average current, which is just if it was changing, say, and you wanted just the average over some amount of time, that would just be delta Q, the amount of charge, over some delta T that flowed in that time. So that would work if it's not quite steady. Maybe it's pulsing or something. You just want to be average. Take a long time, count how many coulombs go across. There's also the instantaneous current. I instantaneous. And that's the derivative dQ dt. If you had some expression for the charge as a function of time as it moves across the plane, it would be dQ dt. I'm just showing you both of these. This is the same as your velocity. If you think back to mechanics, the average velocity of a trip is the delta, total delta change in uh, how far you go over the total time. The instantaneous velocity is really uh, the velocity of a single point in time based on the derivative of the position time curve. Okay. There's another current we sometimes think about, and that's where you do take into account this area. That's called J. That's the current density. And it's literally, it's just the current per unit area. Yeah. The current per unit area. So here, actually, it is a vector. So if we have this thing that's some area, and you have some current flowing at it, you got to give the area a vector like that. And J is a vector of the current per unit area that's flowing and the direction of J is just the direction along the wire normal to that cross-sectional area. So sometimes we think in terms of just the total current, sometimes we think in terms of the current per unit area.